Hello, family. It's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your June tarot scopes, big baby. I just wanted to tell you guys before I get started, big hugs, guys. Thank you so very much. I received an email that I was like number seven out of the top 15 life coaches on YouTube. So I'm going to add that link in my um, description box and you guys can check it out. So thank you guys. I really, really appreciate it. And it was such an honor. Now, let's talk about what's going on in June. Um, I know these are going to be in through like sections. I may be four to time, three to time, depending how much I can get done. I had a lot of orders last month, and so I tried to get all of those out before I started the monthlies this month. So hopefully everybody's received their video by now. If not, shoot me an email. <laughs> all right. On June 13th, we have a new moon in Gemini. And Venus is also entering into Leo. Rawr. We're going to have like a little bit of man eater going on over here. Now, on June 18th, Neptune goes retrograde into the sign of Pisces. It's going to form a grand trine with Mercury and Jupiter. This is a wonderful time for spiritual development, a great time to get things together for yourself. And this, this goes all the way until the 24th of November. So lots of personal growth, lots of spiritual enlightenment, okay? June 26th, Mars goes retrograde. Capricorn Aquarius, Capricorn can't make up his mind. High energy, lots of distractions, lots of friction, guys, lots of friction. We might hear stuff about government coming out. There might be like some leakages. So just be prepared and also know that when that energy happens as a collective, it may happen in your personal life too. So being aware that maybe not to take everything so personally. And then on uh, June 28th, we have the full moon in Capricorn. So, and then we're already in July. And then I get to be on vacation. Ah! <laughs> So with that being said, let's get a channeled message for our collective. We're going to be using messages from the spirit guides. So for the month of June, for all that's watching, what kind of energy can we harness? Ooh, ooh. It's saying the cat, big baby. So this is going to be, a maybe it's because of that um, Mars retrograde. This is going to be a month where we really start looking at why we're dependent on others, who we're dependent on, why we're choosing the people that we want to be with. It's just going to be a little bit more finicky. So it says to strike out on your own and stop being over dependent. So you're going to have to be a little picky like the kitty cat, okay? Because I know some cats won't just let anybody pet them. But the thing about a cat, it's like, I think we're releasing our codependent relationships with people, places, and things, and we're going to start looking at ourselves as a whole. So like I said, on the 18th, Neptune does go retrograde, a lot of spiritual enlightenment, a lot of things coming in. Make sure you take your cat naps, make sure you're resting, make sure you're taking care of yourself. The cat always takes care of themselves, okay? So with that being said, stay tuned because we got some videos for you. And once again, fam, thank you, thank you, thank you, and be blessed. Hello, Pisces. It's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your June tarot scope, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. How you doing, Pisces? I hope all is well. I hope everything's going super fantabulous. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to join with you. Hopefully, you'll hit that like, that share, even maybe subscribe. So with that being said, let's talk about our channeled message, all right? And this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So the cards that fell into your lap today is the Dancer of Promise. So I don't know, like, I'm like over here shaking my hips. I don't know if you've been like dancing in hopes that you're gonna be elevated to another level and you're like the magician all the way around, okay? Now, look for opportunity in everything. Lots of solar plexus energy right here and definitely on a soul level. So, this is um, the gift of opportunity. Something new is coming to you. I'm going to tell you it's something from your past that tried to overpower you and now you've got a second opportunity to overcome it because of the cards that are behind it. Now, this is determination, looking forward, um, dreaming. You're, you're like living your dream. <laughs> Pisces, what's going on over there? You're creating something, you're doing something new, but it's something super, super exciting for you. Because the way I look at this, I think about the, the, the magician with the four elements. Because you see little four dancers, we have earth, wind, fire, 
air, okay? So we have all of the tools in our toolbox that we need and we're ready to go, right? We're on a mission and we're about to hit it. Now, the spirit of empowerment is right next to it. So if I'm dancing with promise because I'm being empowered, that means some good things are coming to me. And then, you know, it, you believe in yourself, trust your intuitive gifts. These are wisdoms of whispers being true to you. Don't change the way you dance because somebody wants you to be something different. Okay, Pisces, you march to your own drummer. You don't even, may not even be on beat sometimes. Pisces, y'all are like hippies or like totally out there, but you're always yourself. <laughs> I love Pisces. My mom's a Pisces. Anyways, but it says to be disempowered is to feel weakened and drained. And it's a reflection of the modern life that we can so often feel this way. So this spirit's inviting you to kind of like charge up your mind and your tenacity and get what's going out there. And I always feel like that's a baby vulture in his hands. I know it's probably not, but that's the way I like to look at it. And I always think about he's giving you the gift to transform a situation that might have been dead into brand new life. Okay, because for me, the vulture transforms energy by taking the dead to the other side okay and creating life now let's talk about your power animal you got the same one as virgo <laughs> so what's going on <laughs> i'm sorry i'm laughing because it was like virgo's read was a hot mess <laughs> i love virgos some of my favorite favorite people are virgos anyways monkey is coming in for you because it's just time to have some fun it is time to play and the key here for you, and this is a really different thing, and I'm looking at it because the word key is like looking at me, is it's time to co-create, um, procreate. <laughs> it's time to do something new and fun and innovative with other people, okay? <laughs> but this is about having a good time. And you see like the monkey, he's like pointing at himself like, are you talking to me? And the other guy's like, well, who else is he going to be talking to? We're the only ones here. You know, and I find it interesting that we have two here to here and to here but on a spiritual level you're going to be doing it by yourself okay but we need support we need people to be around us you need to have some fun okay you need to have fun you need to enjoy yourself you need some balance in your life because of that three foot tail you probably got embrace the unknown and don't take yourself too seriously okay you're about to evolve into a whole new spectrum and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be playful. And be ready because it's coming. There's a lot of shifts coming. And I feel like Pisces, sometimes you guys feel them a little bit more because you are the 12th sign in the zodiac. You know, you are the 12th house. I feel like you feel it more. Um, with that being said, um, sorry, Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> I had like a phone call that was coming in and I had to stop because it was an important phone call. Ah, uh, sorry. Now, like I said, you, this, so it's like, don't take it too seriously. Don't isolate yourself. Make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who want to have fun and have a good time. Because sometimes we will surround ourselves with people and they're probably not the most funnest. And you're like into having fun right now. That's your thing. You want to have fun. You want to celebrate. You want to have a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Okay. So. Check your humor this month because you might say something that you think is funny and someone might take it offensive. And um, pay attention also to any aggression that might be coming out. And I had pointed this out on Virgo. It looks like she's pointing to her heart space. Like he's like, my, you got me. You know, so pay attention to your heart um, in, in physical and emotional ways. Okay. Now, mentally we have co-create and co-create is a really interesting card because we have a cheetah and we have an owl and a cheetah is about achieving your goals right cheetah is about getting to your goals and getting there and accomplishing it right now the owl is the wisdom needed the person that you're going to create something with or you're going to coordinate your powers together however you want to do forces unite you know i don't know if you're like captain planet or whatever but anyways you are going to co-create whether with spirit or with somebody um that you're working with there's something that's that's festering um and not in a bad way i shouldn't use festering stuff so, something that's being brewed up okay so connections to your heart serve to inspire you you're opening up to new ideas you're looking in the mirror held up to these experiences um you're liking yourself a lot more than the others around you uh you're going to be very touched with like inspiration this month um 
and super, super creative. Like there's just so much like the, even with art, because you see this like beautiful art right here and this I like to say it's a Fabergé egg, but I know it's not. But it, it's just like something creative is coming to you. You are the key person to making this creative endeavor happen because the key falls right over you. And then we have strength reversed. Ah, so all of this stuff is brewing. You have these ideas. You have this thing that you want to accomplish, but you're feeling a little lazy or you might be a little bit done over. Now, there's this like passage in this part and it says, Remember that to have power, it's necessary to believe that one can have it. Go forward in faith. The obstacle is a mere illusion. In order to become strong, it's necessary to oppose silence on the weaknesses of the heart. It's necessary to study the duty, the law, the right, the practice, injustice with love. Okay? Now, usually when... when um strength is upright all right we were like oh yeah we're strong we got this we got this no 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 right now there's there might be some reckless behavior that's why i said watch your aggression okay um illness um impulsive reactions and there's somebody who's opposing you like there's like someone who doesn't want you to succeed for some stupid reason there's always those people who are always like trying to stick their foot out when you walk by i'm not that kind of a person i don't have time for that but there's some people who do that <laughs> <laughs> but I kind of feel like this is something from your past and it could be like the the thought that you've attempted to do this endeavor before and it wasn't successful and you're afraid that it's going to happen like that again but the thing is is this is this is like coming through what's the number that this is associated with there's a this they're very numbered differently there's a number and a letter I know it's C and K are the letters that are associated with this and it's attributed to the number 20 okay um, so whatever it is, it's, it's coming from the past. Okay. Because when it's, I always look at strength reverse as things from childhood coming back for us, you know, because it's tied to Leo inner child. Anyways, spirit of earth is here to clarify it. And it's like prosperity is here. Who you are is more than enough to toxify your body. Pay attention to how your body is feeling. Create a home for your soul cherish the here and now live in the moment trust that all your needs are going to be met it's almost like okay you're going through a shakeup. you have to be really creative on how you're going to make things work but you're the key aspect to this do not let things bog you down believe that the abundance is coming we're working with solar plexus solar plexus okay and heart chakra because she's pointing to the heart now on a spiritual level you have the um, magician coming in i'm so sorry i went blank guys this person will not stop calling me and it's not an emergency oh my goodness you know like when you tell people i'm working and then they want to shoot you like um multiple texts and it like goes on my phone where i have my timer and i can like see them come up and i'm like oh my gosh please i just told you i'm working anyway manifestation is the number 19 we go right back to the number 10 not no strength at the 10 it was a 20 so we're at a 10 so we're at a new beginning right on a soul level and it's like release control and evaluate your priorities like it's almost like you know what whatever will be will be kiss and raw sirrah look towards the stars for guidance astrological influences are high right now i recommend guys i am watching this new channel called krs it's not a new channel it's been around for a long time it's about vedic astrology okay super awesome channel like i i have a lot of time to listen to things because i drive over an hour to get to work every day Woo look at me right now so in this he talks about our astrological chart being the map of our life and our ascendant sign is actually our mission in life and you should check out that video it just it makes it very clear on how to manifest what it is you're truly brought here to do okay now Right now, you have the power to manifest your dreams into reality. You are the key component. You need to co-create with spirit. You have the magic in you. You are the magician. And that also came out in your channel message. So with that being said, let's jump into your read, Pisces, because I'm like so ready to just like turn my phone off. I think I'm going to go get my little key, my little key, my little timer from my room in a minute. So let's bless the deck. Saints to Okay, you keep rolling two. So this is about partnership. Some of y'all are gonna be co-creating love, okay? Do do do. 
<laughs> confirmed what I was thinking in my head. So we have the Queen of Pentacles and she's upright. That's that spirit of earth that's coming from the past. That's that physical thing. You may be having like, um, remember the good old days. Remember how things used to be. Oh, it was so great. Well, they can still be great, but they're just different. Okay, first card fell out. Okay, there's a second card. Let me start putting them up there. Doo -doo -doo. Some of y'all are doing a lot of communicating, possibly with the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> maybe that's the Virgo. <laughs> maybe maybe y'all are in each other's read. I don't know. Mm, decisions, decisions, decisions. Whew. Lazy. Greedy. Victory. This is an interesting read, and it's a what? A whole new world. <laughs> Anyways, so in the past, we had the Four of Arrows. You took a step back. You allowed energy to pass. You're taking care of yourself. You're resting, okay? And you're also having, like, some pretty good ideas. You know, you're getting balanced and grounded. You're outside. All that chakra energy, you know, all that yellow coming through for that solar plexus. And this is you either being very... um communicative online or you're dealing with Gemini Libra Aquarius like energy who's trying to communicate with you okay and you're just kind of looking at them like eh, whatever you know I don't really want to talk to you I need to make a decision between you and this earth sign and I don't know what I want I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place I don't know why I like saying that so much <laughs> I'm like oh my gosh some of the things that I say I'm like did I actually say that wow anyways I want to see what she wants to tell you. Ha! She's telling you the wolf. Woo -woo -woo. We got the wolf in the house. She might be a Gemini. Okay, you might be dealing with Gemini energy because I got those two people up there. They look the same. They go in two different ways. Or it's going to happen this month, all right? This is what's going down. And the wolf energy is coming out. And it's almost like attacking you, right? It's like going towards you while you're trying to rest. It's not fair. 39 comes down to the number 12, which comes down to the number 3, which tells me it's a brand new situation or we're dealing with third-party energy. And I don't want y'all to think that every time I talk about third-party energy that it has to be a cheatery situation. No. It could be like me, you, your mama, okay? <laughs> me, you, and your cousin too. Like that kind of energy, all right? Now, the wolf is about mastery, belonging to family, and belonging to groups. So... <clears throat> Some of y'all have been communicating with this person. You want to be a part of it, but you're being directed to, to master the issues at hand. Uh, you're not without gifts to accomplish this. Remember that it's part of your purpose or challenge to uncover and reveal parts of yourselves that you have had to call on before. Wolf teaches us to use everything we have at our disposal, like our gifts, and we don't have to... Um, we don't have to t have the advantage of a heightened sense like all four-legged friends, okay? We have all these things and we're not showing everybody what we got. Recognize the allies you have and enlist their help. So I think you're going to get some help along the way. And this is about surrounding yourself with good people too, okay? Hmm. And make sure that the people you're surrounding yourself with are as good to you as you are to them. Ha <laughs> ha. So when I think about the wolf, I always think about being very keen and very up on your up on your stuff. Like a wolf knows when to be with the pack and then he also knows when to pull back. So know when to hold him and know when to fold him. And I feel like that wolf has more for us. Let's see what else he has for us. I'm going to go with this. Okay. I'm going to go back to the tarot deck. What does this... Oh, okay. Well, that card fell out. And I don't know if those both are supposed to come out. So, oh, there you are. You're having to make a decision. You are torn between earth and air. It's a conflict. It's inner conflict. Ooh, which one's going to be the best for me? Who do I go with? What do I do? But one person is, like, not really paying attention to all this, like, battle that's going on. So if we were to, like, pull them like this, 
they're both looking at you, right? So this is the general read. So it could be two boys, it could be two girls, like whatever you want it to be. But it's two people that you kind of don't want to make this decision, Pisces. It could be two job opportunities. Um, one's a more grounded and the other one's a more online kind of job. And you ha you can't decide between the two because to me, this is a more materialistic. This is a more fly by the seat of your pants. So you're in conflict about this and wolf to me is kind of if you look on here then we have the two people separated and the wolf is making a decision and it's in conflict that's you at the present moment you are in conflict at the present moment however the hidden influence is that you have the two of wands you have the magician's wand you can do what you want to do mm -hmm. And this is attributed to Aries-like energy. So if you have to think about the way an Aries acts, it's kind of pompous sometimes. No offense if Aries is watching, but Aries, they go for what they want. They're very emperor-like, and they're going to go get it. So I feel like you need to make your decision. It has to be a very independent decision. Because the hidden influence, remember it said that it was someone lazy from the past, right? Because it was straight reverse with, um, that was the past, and then it was, uh, I forgot the card, where to go? Strength reversed with the spirit of earth. So I feel like you're, there's an earth-like energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus-like energy that is just kind of dragging their feet and not doing what you thought they were going to do. They're really slow. They're not pulling their weight. And I told you I had a lot of options going on, but they're not, you're like ready to make your final decision. You might be looking at different jobs, different job placements. And it, the hidden influence is there's two that are really good. And there's this one, the advice is like, no, bro. And there's that cheetah again, right? So <coughs> we have cheetah up here. Remember that card? We had cheetah there. So we're, we're mentally trying to co-create but this cheetah ain't really working with us, okay? So we gotta see what that, that wants to tell us. Let's see. Whoo! Queen of Wands reversed. Should it be reversed? Okay. So it's almost like you're in conflict. There's a lot of people involved in this decision, okay? The advice is <laughs> be aware that you're dealing with some energy that's lazy and jealous. Okay, and this is past energy. So let's see how to work with that energy because it's one thing to know that it's there, but it's another thing to know how to work with it. Okay, so let's see Pisces, what's going on? Good Lord. And this, this queen of wands, she can, it could be male or female, but the energy is going to be very, um, I want to say two-faced. It's similar to Gemini on a bad day, okay? <laughs> She's very two-faced, in-your-face kind of thing. Even, and another way to tell it is like, I kind of feel like this person's going to have something very intricate on their neck, okay? It's going to be either a tie, like one of those tie clips or um, a tattoo or just something that stands out right there, right? Because it's sticking out to me more than it normally does. And it's like looking like an upside down heart and we're working. I told you with heart shocker I think I told you that um, Because of the monkey pointing to it and I feel like the monkey's kind of pointing to you to look there that person Energy is not going to ooh, not going to be what they present because it's a truth be told they have a mask on the thing is you have to be able to, here's the owl, so there, here's the owl, there's the cheetah, here's the owl again, and the owl's telling you, open up the windows of your heart, look at what's going on, see things for what they are. It's like, look at it, look at it for what it is and don't try to make it anything else, okay? And if you do that, you're going to get the victory, like you're going to get the best outcome, and it's attributed to the number six. This person may be from your past. So this is kind of how I see it going down. Like if you were interviewing, you used to know somebody who knew somebody that knew somebody and they knew about you and they don't have a good perception of you. But truth be told, it's actually a blessing in disguise, okay? Because it's also something from your past because it's attributed to the number 14, which comes down to the number five, which for me is karma. And guys, just because it means that to me doesn't mean that it has to mean that to you. I had somebody message me and say, you don't have to break down the number 11 to the number 2. It's a, it's a power number. And I understand that. But when I'm doing a reading, and it's my reading, <laughs> and I'm trying to give you a message that's coming through, I utilize anything I can find. If it's a number sequence, if it's an animal, whatever it is. But this is honesty, accepting things at face value. Who they say they are is who they really are. 
okay? Remember that your truth is based on your personality and experience up to now. Don't hold back. Speak up your truth and listen. So the thing is here is like, you, you, they're going to be like, you can be like, man, when I first met you, you wanted to like be everything. You were all a go-getter. You you were upright like the cheetah. We had goals. And, you know, now I'm seeing it for what it is. Okay, but you're going to have the victory, Pisces, and you get your new beginning. So whatever it is, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a career, whether whatever it is, just know that you are going to get the new beginning that you want. Continue taking your time. You are in full control. You are the magician. Everything is working out in your favor. I do want to see. I just I just feel like this is going to help. And it's on me. Yeah, I think it's going to help. I want to see what kind of energy to use with those sneaky people. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm. But you're it both. Damn it, I knew it. So, good lord, so many cards. So <laughs> Your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. So this is like a dynamic duo, right? And they're telling you one thing and they're doing another. And you're over here trying to please everybody. You're trying to do everything and you can't. And the one thing I think about this unicorn is that you're going to have to be very creative when you work with them. Now, it also reminds me of the magician's wand over here. Very protective energy. Protect your energy. You don't have to make the decision today. You don't have to make that decision tomorrow. You make the decision when you're ready. And do not let those people rush you, okay? Because it's your life. It's your decision. And you can take as long as you want, Pisces. Okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, tell them to sit down. I like telling people to sit down. I think I should have been a teacher. It's like to say, sit down. But, like, I don't have a job that I can tell people to do. <laughs> Anyways, you're Mars. See, this is why I think it's about love for you. <coughs> you're Mars is trying to tell you like if Mars could talk to you this would be his message and this is why he's going retrograde. The focus is love and this is an aid in Providence Turkey. Named after the Greek goddess Aphrodite, this sacred site is dedicated to love and passion and beauty. The swans on the card gaze lovingly at each other. Remember, we had the two monkeys, now we got the two swans. Jeez, it's all about the twos, baby. Now, represent Aphrodite's desire to bind people together in love. Enter a world of romance. Depicted by the five-petaled white rose, there's that number five again, okay? This emblem refers to Venus. Where's your Venus in your chart? <sighs> the Roman goddess of love and Aphrodite's counterpart, as does the symbol that represents the planet Venus. You are urged to make your heart receptive to love. You may have encountered heartbreaks, perhaps from the ending of a sexual relationship or from family issues, and you're neglecting yourself. Remember you're worthy of love from others, from yourself, and from your creator, and all you need to do is believe, and once you love yourself and appreciate your inner divinity, the void will be filled, okay? So, this is all about love. Mars is working on you like, if think about Mars is like a war, oh, he's a warrior, a warrior, okay? So it's like you're going to be fighting for the right to party in love, okay? I have to throw that in there, in love. Now, your stone, where did your stone go? I know I pulled it out. Sometimes, there it is, is a rose quartz, huh? Unconditional love, peace, and romantic love. You may be meeting somebody this month. This is working with Anahata, your heart chakra. Shocking, okay. <laughs> Unconditional love where we seek the offer of love to others without exception or return. By learning to love ourselves and healing past wounds, we become able to love others and receive love in return. Rose Quartz replaces negative energies with love and releases emotions and pain. It will enhance unconditional love. Now, it works well with uh, the kidneys, with the adrenals, and enhancing fertility. This also indicates that love will soon enter your life either as a romantic gift or in a way that will help heal the past wounds to move on, okay? Something about earth and air is coming through for you. Now, I did have Don Miguel, but where did he go? Oh, my goodness. It's because I have so much stuff in front of me. Let's see. What is the message from Don Miguel Reese? Oh, express your own divinity. Always do your best. You don't need to the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and you express your own divinity by being alive and by loving yourself and others. 
you are the magician this month you can make it happen you will be meeting some really important people or you're trying to make decisions between people or a position the thing is you're going to make the right decision because with unicorn you have to think about the creative energy that you're going to be using another thing about unicorn is a lot about purity and clearing negative energy with that horn that they have i think i think of clear quartz when i see that horn so make sure that you're protecting your energy that you're carrying your little um your little crystals with you or whatever it is that you do so that you keep your energy safe. All right, Pisces, if you're interested in a read, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Be blessed, fam.